Bike Controller here. We're going to give you a quick walkthrough on how to drive a larger relay from the built-in 10 amp circuit on the Ride Controller Control Center unit. So here I have my 8 circuit control center. I'm running the app which I've customized for all the inputs on my setup. I have ignition on relay 1, air ride on relay 2, running lights on relay 3, low beams on relay 4, radiator fan on relay 5, right LED on relay 6, left, e left LED on relay 7, and then my starter, which is actually this button, and the lower button here you see on the right is mapped to relay 8. And that's all the inputs I'm using, or excuse me, outputs I'm using for my setup. But here, for the running lights, which are on relay 3, I have them running here. There's relay, there's a circuit 3. You can look at our instruction guide as well online for more uh, information on the exact pinout of the board. But relay 3 here runs back into my fuse panel. I don't know if you can kind of see the fuse panel here, but it basically has a 10 amp, a 10 amp fuse hot. A 10 amp fuse hot right back here. And that 10 amp fuse hot is fed down into relay circuit 3 here. So that hot is coming in here actually on the black wire. And that's a 12 volt 10 amp fused line. And then, so when the switch hits, this circuit is complete. And through the red here, you're going to get a 12 volt hot. That 12 volt hot, I run directly into the 86 on a standard 30 amp to 40 amp automotive relay. Now that fires the big relay, which then fires my running lights.